Good morning, everyone. Uh, taking advantage of this beautiful day, and I'm out for a little walk. Why don't you uh, come along with me? Uh, I'm here uh, in the backyard, walking along the trail, and uh, it, uh, it reminds me of uh, a great truth that uh, all these things uh, surrounding me uh, speak to us. You know, the, the trees uh, talk about, well, they, they point to us about the truth of growth. A tree is, uh, well, it's a fascinating thing for sure. Uh, it grows tall up towards the sun, but uh, there's something that happens down below that, uh, well, it's not obvious, but we know that it's definitely happening. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm talking about the roots. The roots go down into the ground and we don't see them, but without them, uh, a tree would be nothing. In fact, a tree with shallow roots would soon blow over in the, the toughest of winds. And so roots are needed and a stem is needed and of course those leaves up at the top that uh, drink in the sun. It's all needed for uh, a tree to be healthy and to be growing. You know in Ephesians chapter 4 uh, Paul uh, points out to us about uh, the importance of us growing in Jesus Christ. He uh, uses two different, uh, two different ways to describe it. First of all, he, in verse 13, he talks about being mature, that uh, we might grow and uh, become mature. When I think of a mature tree, it's one that has uh, grown steadily and faithfully over many, many years. In fact, when you bring down a mature tree, you'll see all of those rings that testify to the fact that it grew steadily year after year, pushing down those roots that you didn't see and pushing up those leaves that uh, reached up to the sky to receive what was uh, needed from the sun. Paul also talks about, uh, the, about growing as growing up into our head, Jesus Christ. Well, of course, uh, that's in verse 15 of Ephesians 4. And of course, he's talking about our growth in the Lord, our growth in Jesus Christ. And how is it that we grow? We often talk about uh, some of the fundamentals of growing. We read our Bibles, we pray, we tell others about Jesus Christ. We meet together as his people. Those things all are for our benefit so that we might grow in Jesus Christ. So that we might become like a, a mighty tree as it is, as it were. That uh, we might reach up to our Lord and give him great glory and put down those solid roots that no one else might see, but the Lord knows that they are there. You know, I learned a lesson about roots recently. I had to fix a drain at the back of the house. And there had been a really large tree growing at the back of the house. You know, the roots from that tree, even though they were unseen, had caused a problem with the drain. And they had traveled for many, many feet underneath the ground. Didn't see them they were doing that important work for the tree to help it to grow. You see, the Lord wants us to grow. He doesn't want us to be blown around uh, by the wind, like he says there in Ephesians chapter 4. He also doesn't want us to remain like infants. He, ma he makes that point to us in Ephesians 4 as well. Instead, he wants us to grow. So a tree really stands out as a, a great image to us put down deep roots in Jesus Christ and grow up to show the, the great glory of God, reaching out to uh, the Lord for our sustenance in our spirit. Well, it wouldn't be right for me not to uh, share with you a, a few little ones about trees. I love tree jokes. Uh, for instance here, what about uh, this one? Uh, what do trees always call their kids? Woody. Or uh, how about this one? Uh, uh, you know, a tree that's uh, that's been uh, not behaving very well. What do you call it? Uh, naughty. And uh, one of my personal favorites, uh, one aspen sent to the other aspen, you better quit trembling or you're going to have to leaf. Well, I hope you have a great day. God bless you. 
here's a bonus one for you. When's the best time to plant a tree? Uh, 40 years ago, of course. Here's a oak. Uh, maybe somebody can come by in 2060 and take a look at how uh, mighty it's turned out to be. Have a great day.